drink. Dude, yes. how hard is that? Dude, I wadded it in the back. You wadded it? Yeah. What did you do that for? I didn't mean to. So we're in Kroon, which is like Brooksville. It's about 10 minutes from my house. It's funny, because I come here first time in 2002 with Tim Ferry, and we would just come here when we get rained out. And so I really only ever know, you know, knew this place as a backup. Um, and it hasn't changed, you know, one little bit over the last 20 something years, but still awesome actually. It just reminds me a lot of, there's a place in Australia, you know, obviously not many people are gonna know, but there was a place called uh, Crazes. It was just really sandy, rolly, and I just spent hours and hours and burned through gallon after gallon after gallon out there so I don't know that we need to come here every day because I think we'll destroy bikes uh, but man it's cool to watch your kids ride and start learning you know like we did some filming I think in October November -ish, at a place in Australia at uh, Luke's you don't want to get all the way to the front you want to let it go I know how to ride Sam. you know how to ride Sam? Crazy that my kids literally look like they'd never rode dirt bikes before and couldn't even make one lap and then now I watch them circulate and look like they actually know what they're doing and so for me like that's such a, a progression reality understanding for me you know like it's just really cool to see how far they've actually come. I hadn't been here like I said in 20 plus years Let me show you and so I was like oh we'll just lock the car you know like we were gonna do a little bit of the track and then maybe go into the woods and so I was like oh, I'll take them for a ride through the woods it'll be kind of fun. <laughs> so I put the keys in my what I thought was my pocket uh, in my in my like the pant liner when I pulled my pants up it must have like flipped over the end and it must not have been on the inside clearly because I don't know how any else it could have come out but anyway keys come out and then I did about two laps, and on the third lap, I crashed in the rollers. And it was actually a pretty decent crash. Like, it kind of caught me off guard and just flipped me. But I mean, like, obviously sand, I didn't hurt myself or anything. Didn't really think much of it. And then we ride a little bit, go back, grab my phone, and it's completely destroyed. So you went to get the keys to unlock the van. Oh, yeah, first things first. <laughs> and then the kids no, thought I was messing with them and that it was maybe just down in my pant leg, down in my boot. So they're like literally like strip searching me looking for the thing. Kaya possibly had already started a bike up and was ready to ride a dirt bike home. <laughs> She's like, we'll just ride a dirt bike home. And I'm like, oh no. Went to call for help or at least message mom what was happening. And then that was when I realized, you know, the phone was completely destroyed. So. And then so I'm like, all right, well, all I can do is backtrack at this minute. And yeah, within 30 seconds, I found my keys. So it was no big deal. I wasn't stressed. We figured it out. We made it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man.
freaking corner. My whole freaking body was underneath it. I followed you to that inside, and you just went, and I was covered. Oh, in the sand, I need some race fuel. I'm detonating. Big girl. Big 450's detonating. Be gentle on it. It's sketchy because sometimes there's like little nags in the dirt or like there's a rock yeah, and then you, you can't gotta, really see like, it. There's certain sections where it's like hard packed underneath and you gotta be really careful. Yeah. Like over in the back section. Mm -hmm. Like some of those ones, like the real tight deep sand ones, you wanna get in and you just like whatever and then like the line, like get in the line and just kind of smoothly follow the line and like and then it'll it'll help you not tuck it. Like in a normal turn, how you would like turn real sharp, just kind of go and then use the end of like track, the end of like where the track ends, you know? Follow the line. Damn it. Oh, another one. There's another thing going. <laughs> to go first and lap you? Uh, you go first and then I follow you and then it's gonna... Try to lap you? Yes. Alright. I've only got four laps. Yeah. Epic fails, that would be me. Also, let me show you another skill I've got. I can actually load a bike from this side and use the step. I get on, I get on the horse on all sides. <laughs> How rough was it? It was rough. Got the thing. 
It would take sandblasting me and I went down. And then I went down where Dad did yesterday. You know what the good thing is? What? We got it. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. How was the day? It was super rough. I uh, I think I did better than I did yesterday. So you yeah, for it awesome. Track was really rough, super rolly and like sandy. So and there's like little edges in the dirt. So it was a bit like sketchy. But other than that, it was still good. Last moto, I was trying to like, you ain't gonna lap me. You ain't gonna lap me. Like, went down and then as soon as he passed me, he started celebrating. I was so annoyed. He he, he was like a celebration lap. He just yeah. Let's go. And I could hear him because I was like, come and I was like, come on, come on. I could just hear him the whole time celebrating. <laughs> so it was pretty funny. Oh, I thought you were Chad. <laughs> I am. But I said, you know, it'll keep, just register it right there. Keep working. Eventually the tides will turn. Yeah. Unless Chad comes into his most epic uh, fitness of his 50s, like Mike Brown, then who knows? You may never pass him. Yeah, it seemed like Browning turned 45 and got better. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna wait a few years, but I'd like to say my best is yet to come, but yeah. in life, but my racing, you missed that window, kiddo. <laughs> it's funny, Tate's gonna watch this back and be mad, but uh, like he was ripping that last one, like riding really, really good. Just starting to get the flow going. Um, and that was by far the best that I rode, you know, like I actually had a decent flow going too. Um, but I totally cut the track, like cut off like 30, 40 seconds of the track, so. You told me that. But we weren't telling that until he watches this the video. But anyway, but he rode really well, and, and Kaya as well. And I got back here, Sis was in tears, you know, and, but the track is really, really hard. Like, you don't understand how hard it is. Like, some of the best riders in the country right now come here and will struggle and, you know, fall down. So it's easy to get wrapped up, and, and I've done it, right? Like, when I went to Europe in 2001, uh, I showed up to Lommel, and there was Joel Smets, Stefan Evitz, Mikel Pichon. I was like eight to 10 seconds off, and I was a good sand rider, like, honestly. like thought I was pretty damn good and you know grew up riding in the sand regularly um, but those guys were just unique and and really really good and it took me months to catch and, and bridge that gap and I just kept working and working and working and my only GP I ever won was in the deep gnarly uh, sand of Ligrip in Holland so um, that was a testament for me like just working really hard and so I have a full understanding and reality on how these tracks can make you feel and it's tough because you you want to feel that and you want to let that fuel the fire um, but you also need to be happy because it's it's a challenging track so anyway awesome two days okay was it really a full lap yeah Mom said uh, it wasn't. <laughs> Mom says it wasn't. Yeah. So, cause, so we can see what team Mom's on, right? Yeah. Like it is so clear Come what on. Mom is. She is <laughs> Team Tate. My firstborn. My well, the boys in general. Like, see, I was honestly nervous about having a daughter, but if I didn't have a daughter, I wouldn't have a teammate because the other two and Ellie gang up on us. But yeah. you know what? The two of us can take those three down, no problem at all. Ask him. He still didn't admit it. So was just it a ask full, him. Was it a full lap? Was it a legit win? Or I was mean, that where we started, did you finish there? I didn't know you were gonna crash and lay on this and have a little bit of a nap there. <laughs> okay. But had I have not, had have you not crashed, I wouldn't have caught you. Okay. Or had you have not cut the track? Yeah. I mean, I didn't see that I cut the track. Did you, <laughs> did you see me cut the track? <laughs> We don't know what's going on out there. Tay, I think that might mean that you actually won. He won, he crashed. We'll give it to you. This You're a good. Yeah, we'll give it to the old man. You're all bummed and mad that I beat you. I like that. God, if my dad ever beat me in anything, I'd be mad too, so. I get it, I yeah. get it. Good job, everyone. Good day. Thanks, Now Nuggie. let's go clean the bikes. He can relax, he can hold.